क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा and friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the different method to prepare nitrile cane and which we have understood that is nitrile cane can be prepared from alkane also so based on that we have a following topic and let us understand this topic very clearly so friends nitrile canes can be easily prepared from alkanes that is by doing direct nitration on the alkene so that is the reason that i am going to talk about these kind of reactions but there are two ways for the nitration of alkene so let me talk about the first step that is vapor phase nitration so in this case basically suppose if we are considering an alkene that is nothing but rh and suppose if we are treating it with that is concentrated hno3 that is known as nitric acid so in this case basically the nitric acid can be we can write the structure of nitric acid as hono2 and in this case basically the mixture of alkane and the nitric acid they both are in vapor phase so that's the reason that the temperature that we should provide in this case is it should be between 4 to 3 kelvin to that is 698 kelvin it is obviously by providing that is high temperature to it obviously in this case this oh and this h they would be removed in the form of water that is h2 and the remaining part that is that is the main product that we need is nothing but it is rno2 that is known as nitrile cane suppose if we are taking the smaller members of an alkane and suppose if we are doing the direct nitration on it then the product that we could obtain it will be of higher yield and obviously it would be nothing but the nitrated compound of the alkane but suppose if you are taking a higher member of an alkane and suppose if we are doing the nitration then a mixture of nitro compounds can be obtained so based on that let me give you an example so that we could understand this concept very clearly so now the examples are suppose if we are considering the lower member of alkane suppose if i am considering that is ch3 ch3 that is nothing but ethane and suppose if i am treating it with concentrated hono2 which is also known as nitric acid that is hno3 and let me write it here as concentrated solution and suppose if the temperature that i am providing it should be that is 4 to 3 to 6 9 8 kelvin so in this condition basically this h and o along with that of one hydrogen of the alkane it would be removed in the form of h2 but the main product that is left out with us is nothing but ch3 ch2 no2 so this is known as nitration process where we have basically replaced one hydrogen or we can also replace more than one hydrogen of an alkane with the corresponding number of NO2 group and that is how basically we can obtain the nitro alkane. So the name of the product that is what we have obtained over here is known as nitroethane. So this is the product that we will get. But what if, if we have considered propane and suppose if propane undergoes through nitration process so what is the product that we could get. So now let us understand that also. Propane could be mentioned as that is CH3, CH2, CH3. And suppose if we are doing diet nitration on it, that is by introducing concentrated HNO3. So in this case, the product that we could get, it would be a mixture of products. And that is the reason that I'm talking about here in this topic. The higher temperature that will be nothing but that is 4 to 3 Kelvin to 6, 9, 8 Kelvin. So at higher temperature and the both the LKs as well as the nitric acid, they are in vapor phase. So that is the reason that there could be a chance that this bond between the carbon and carbon that could be broken. And the product that we could get is, it would be CH3NO2 or else it would be that is C2H5NO2. So here we have got a mixture of nitro group and this is nothing known as nitromethane and this is nothing known as nitroethane. But we can also get a diet product where we can convert the propane into nitropropane. So there is another possibility that is where we can obtain that is CH3, CH2, CH2, NO2. This is known as primary nitroalkane but there is also a chance of formation of that is secondary nitroalkane that is nothing but CH3, CH, CH3 and this is NO2 along with the elimination of H2 as a byproduct. So there are different chances or there are different possibility to obtain mixture of nitro compounds. So this is happens. So this happens if we are considering that is a higher alkane and suppose if you are doing the direct titration on it.
so this is one of the method that is the vapor phase method or the vapor phase nitration of the alkane but even there is another method that is known as liquid nitration method so in this case basically the temperature that we should provide is basically 413 kelvin and in that case basically under high pressure we can easily convert the alkane into nitroalkane but the process is very much slow and that's the reason that we are usually considering the vapor phase nitration and that's it and talking about uh, we have considered the nitration of propane as well as we have considered the nitration of ethane we have not considered the nitration of methane the reason behind that is methane's nitration is very much difficult so therefore the direct nitration of methane is not possible so therefore we have to take alkyl halide of that and we can easily prepare that is nitromethane so that's it this is what i want to discuss about so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much